All right, so I just got word that NVIDIA just dropped another update and I'm really hoping this is the final end all updates for PC players because uh, man, has it been a roller coaster. We've had two videos that we dropped within the last week. Uh, the first video kind of highlights how to, you know, minimize all of the frame drops uh, issues that we had experienced when the game first dropped uh, and then we had a follow-up video where uh, essentially Nvidia put out a hot fix to kind of help with the stuttering with the frame drop still and all sorts of game crashes everything you name it so instead of what I did previously where I kind of showed you how to how to download the newest driver uh, I kind of skipped the part where I show myself installing the driver and actually going in game and testing it out um i know for me it worked so i didn't really spend time there but i know folks watching this uh might also want that to be an added portion of the video to make sure that you kind of get the whole picture from uh start to finish and so i'm gonna do that today so let's get started Alrighty, so before I usually play, I always check the, the official Twitter page of Beanox. They're the developers for the PC version of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Um, so even the past two videos that I dropped, it was all based on the information I can find online from the official source. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that process and I'll show you what it, what it looks like from start to finish in terms of me updating, testing things and making sure it works before I put out a video. So I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to click on Google Chrome. Uh, like I said, I always refresh the Twitter handle for Beanox. I think that's how you pronounce it. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, please let me know at the bottom in the comments. Uh, so here we go. An hour ago, if you're experiencing DXGI adapter errors, please perform a clean driver install, reboot your, reboot your PC, scan and repair Battle.net or verify at Steam. I hope that's not the case for me. Five minutes later. Alrighty, it's working. That's awesome. Oh, it's not working. Okay, no supported DXGI adapter were found. Please verify your graphics card is within the minimum requirement and that your drivers are up to date. So I definitely know my drivers are up to date because I have the 3080 Founders Edition. I always update it. And it's funny that it's saying that because the driver update is coming from NVIDIA. So what do you mean? Make sure your driver is up to date. That's literally what I just did. So that defeats the purpose. I don't get that at all. I'm just going to close that. All right. So this has probably been one of the hardest videos to do because unlike the first two videos, uh, when the driver is installed, I was able to launch the game, no issues. However, here, uh, like it said in the tweet from Vnox, if we if we get any sort of error message, um, I'll put the message up here right now. If you get this message, uh, they advise you to uh, reboot your computer, uh, go on Battle.net, and um, scan and repair the game. However, that didn't fix my issue. It kept scanning and repairing and scanning and repairing. It was a never-ending loop. Uh, so what I did was, I unfortunately had to uninstall the game, uh, and then I reinstalled uh, the driver update, and then I restarted my computer. Now I'm going into Battle.net to install the game. Uh, luckily, I have very fast internet, so it shouldn't take too long. So I just wanted to give you that brief update because I noticed as I was updating even the driver, my GeForce experience stopped recording the install process and all of that stuff. So I just wanted to quickly summarize everything, uh, let this download, and I will be back once it's done. We'll start the game again, and hopefully, hopefully, it works. And uh, but you know, this is we have to go through this process to make sure. Um, when I put this video out, it, I'll give you my final verdict if it works or not, and if I should recommend it. And I want to give you the best. Um, you know, install process possible. So if you have to uninstall the game, drive, update the drive first, and then play the game. That's the way it works, and I will let you know that. So I'll be right back. All right, so it's finally almost done installing the game, which was uh, a tough choice to make, but you know, I had to do it for the purpose of this video. Make sure uh, I try 
all different options of troubleshooting to make sure I give you the best recommendation of how to properly install this new <laughs> driver update. Um, so yeah, we're almost done here. I'm assuming once the game is installed, uh, it's going to have to install the shaders again. So that's another thing I might have to wait for a little bit longer. Uh, but let's hope first it even opens the game because that was the main issue. And if it does, honestly, I'm reverting back to the my last video that I made, that last uh, driver update, um, because clearly, let's just hope it doesn't get to that. <laughs> my brain is processing. I'm, I'm like so over it at this point. <laughs> let's just hope. God damn it. Oh, and one last thing, uh, while this is kind of finishing up here in terms of installing, uh, please go ahead and search graphic settings on your computer and make sure the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is turned off. Okay. Alrighty, so it's gone ahead and installed completely. I'm just going to make sure we check for updates. It's installing an update. Perfect. Now we are good to go. So I'm going to press launch and let's hope it launches. If I get that error message, you'll know and uh, that's how we're gonna end the video <laughs> let's just hope it doesn't get to that okay okay yes okay all right so it's working awesome okay so it did not do this the first time after updating the driver uh, in terms of making sure that your game is fully optimized and there's no further crashes. Uh, so it's going to restart, I guess, here. So let it let it do its thing. So I'm gonna show you my in-game settings and a couple things you can do to minimize crashes further. Um, hopefully this update kind of solves that anyways, but you just want to take extra precautions, I guess. Crazy how many things you have to do to a game that has been developed for what, two years now? Almost three years since Modern Warfare 2019 came out. And uh, you would have thought they would have figured these things out by now, but uh, I guess they waited till last minute. And um, I don't know if you want to hear my thoughts on this, but season one, it comes out next week. They're only dropping two maps from multiplayer, which are maps that are from Modern Warfare 2019. Shoot House and Shipment. Not complaining, definitely helps with Camel Grind, but it's kind of weird that that's what they're starting off with not query not high rise not terminal maps that will be on launch for warzone uh you would think they would at least launch it on multiplayer but no warzone gets it first a free to play game so it's kind of weird anyways so shaders are optimizing i want to quickly show you some of the graphic settings here i think it i think my graphics already saved i hope uh let's just go ahead and check okay so for custom frame rate limit you want to keep it as custom and you want to make sure that your menu custom frame rate is set to 60. your gpu doesn't need to push for the most fps in the menu it makes no sense so lock this at 60. i noticed that um your gpu temperature doesn't go crazy in the menu because it usually does so make sure it's set to custom 300 for gameplay custom frame rate limit uh, menu custom rate uh, frame limit to 60 and then out of focus custom rate uh, frame rate limit to 30. I'm just going to show you my quality as well. I have uh, a 1440p screen so it's going to be set to that. Uh, for f the upscaling you want to keep it at a 90. Um, just going to slowly go through my settings here. You can pause the video at any point but I just want to quickly show you uh, my settings. One thing I did definitely notice any of these items I change will affect my gameplay. For example, text texture resolution. I tried a low and it crapped out on me. Like it started, I started seeing stuttering issues and all of that terrible things. So make sure this is set to very low. It's, it's unfortunate, but we have to. Uh, so I'm just going to keep scrolling here. These are my settings in game settings. Okay. And then last one is view. This is obviously your preference. So 
doesn't really affect the gameplay, but these are my settings. Anyways, uh, we've gone ahead and updated. Seems like it's working so far. I'm just going to do a quick benchmark to see if there's any difference in uh, performance. Uh, okay, so it's kind of wrapping up here. So let's take a look at the benchmark information. Uh, so my average is about 147 FPS. To me, that's a W. And then also my system information is right there. So you can kind of take a look at that. Uh, and uh, I'm just going to end this here. Uh, I don't want to do any further testing because I'm honestly tired. But please let me know if this has helped you. Uh, and hopefully I've minimized the process for you by me testing all in all sorts of different ways possible so just to summarize things um i installed the latest driver tried to play the game i got the error message that was uh, mentioned in the tweet and then i you know kind of restarted my computer as mentioned in the tweet i scanned and repaired the game through battle.net tried to launch the game again it did not work what worked for me was i uninstall the game completely i installed the new driver update then i restarted my computer then i installed the game and then i tested it out and it works um so i hope this helps you and uh, please let me know if you have any questions in the comments and if you have any other further feedback that you want to provide instead of telling me in the comments about feedback um if you go to the twitter handle nvidia uh, I think it was CC. Uh, it's the NVIDIA customer care support team. I will post that right now here on the screen. Uh, you can reply to them or tweet at them and give your feedback and they will take that into consideration. That's basically what they've been doing for the past week. So they've kind of launched two updates so far and um, I'm hoping this is the end all driver update until we get an official one maybe next month. Who knows? Uh, 